In this session, I will teach you how to uh, backup Veritas to Azure Cloud, Azure Storage. First, we will start by creating the storage account on uh, the portal. Storage accounts. We add a new storage account. Um, a resource group, it's for uh, it's my resource group, storage account, let's say test one, two, three. Okay, we need a storage account with the uh, test veritas backup storage. Okay. <clears throat> Always we use the storage account v2, it's recommended by Microsoft. And for reducing the cost, we choose it as LRS. <clears throat> now it's public. Okay. No need for data protection. And if you want, you can turn on soft delete for blobs. Okay, we keep this uh, these uh, these settings as is. Here you can choose as cool or hot. It's better to choose hot. Okay. <clears throat> for the tags, you can choose done by or date. Now we review and create. Okay. Okay, the storage account is creating now. <clears throat> so these steps are needed in order to create the storage uh, needed for Veritas to back up the data to, to Azure. Okay, now it's completed. We have uh, here test Veritas backup storage. Okay. As you can see, these are the access keys. Okay. Inside the storage account, we need to create a container because we need to storage the, uh, the backup in, inside, uh, inside a container. So we create a container, let's say uh, Veritas. Okay, we keep it as private and we create. Okay, now it's created. We have the storage account, we have the access keys. And now we are ready to uh, configure the Veritas backup uh, inside the backup exec uh, software. Okay, uh, here on EVM, we installed Veritas backup exec software. Okay, it's trial version. And the first step, we need to configure the storage, the cloud storage inside the Veritas backup software. Okay. First, you go to configure storage here. There is no storage configure. Okay, you have disk base, cloud storage, Network storage, tape storage, and storage pools. We choose the storage, uh, cloud storage. Next, you can name it whatever you want, Azure. <coughs> Azure Backup, say uh, Backup to Cloud, or Cloud Backup. Okay, next. Here you choose Azure. Okay. <clears throat> you choose here Azure. Now we need to edit a, log, uh, a login account. I already added this one. I will delete it and create it from, <clears throat> from the beginning. Okay, we add. The username, the username shall be the name of the storage account, and the password is the, is the uh, key. Okay, we take the username from the portal. We go to the portal. This is the portal. <clears throat> okay, this is the storage account. We copy this name. 
we go to the VM. Okay, this is the username. The password will be the key, <coughs> the access key from here. You can choose key one or key two, the same. Okay, this is the password. Now we press OK. Okay, this is the account. We press OK now. Okay, it took the account. <coughs> if we didn't create the the container, it will say that that's nothing inside the storage account. Now, it saw the container inside inside the storage account. If you want to see the container name, okay, this is the container name. Veritas, it's the same here. Okay. Concurrent operations, let's say one. These settings, you can configure it as much as you want. Now we press finish. Okay. Okay, in order to bring the device online, the backup exit services need to be restarted. Okay. <clears throat> Backup exit is restarting its services, and now you will see that the storage appears here. Okay, great. Here you have cl cloud storage is configured now. Okay, <coughs> back up to cloud. Okay, wait a few seconds till the VM loads. Okay. Here you can add the the recurrence, recurrence <clears throat> for the full backup and the for for the incremental backup. You can add the backup jo job. Okay, now here you can edit the selection for the VM inside the VM. Okay, we press OK. Now the backup job is ready. We can start it now. And I will start now the backup to see if the backup is working to the cloud. Okay, it's active. Now it needs um, some time till it finishes. We will uh, check the uh, result in, uh, in about uh, uh, 20 to 30 minutes. Okay, as you can see here, uh, the backup job was successful. It took around 30 minutes, 33 minutes. 34 minutes, 18.3 gigabytes. Okay, and now you can check inside the <clears throat> inside the container. Okay, we have these files now.